Purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at Purposely.com. Not all who wander are lost. One of my favorite quotes from the Lord of the Rings, sometimes we wander away from God because we're not making the best decisions, right? But sometimes we find ourselves seemingly wandering in circles, but we know that God is leading us somewhere. Welcome to the Bible for Busy People. I'm Erica, your host, and it's Friday, so you know what that means. It is time for Joy Bombs in the Psalms. I want to invite you to join me in Psalm 63. King David wrote this psalm, and it's about a time when he was in the wilderness of Judah. You and I all this week have been talking about drifting away from God. Something to remember. If you haven't already cemented this in your mind and in your heart, God never moves. We are the ones who drift away. He's always waiting with open arms. He's right there, I promise. As we spoke about last time, if you just turn around, Jesus is there waiting, waiting to show you his love. You just have to let him. So without further ado, let's join King David in the wilderness Listen to his prayer and let this be your prayer and mine as well. Oh God, you are my God. I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. Do you feel like you're in a wilderness season right now and your spirit is parched and you are just weary to the bone? Jesus wants to fill you with living water while you're in this wilderness season. Verse two now, I have seen you in your sanctuary and gazed upon your power and glory. Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. I will praise you as long as I live, lifting up my hands to you in prayer. You satisfy me more than the richest feast. I will praise you with songs of joy. Just want to pitch a small tent here and say, let him satisfy you. And may he satisfy me with his love more than the things that make us want to drift away. Sometimes there are choices in life that come up. We're faced with temptations and we think, ooh, look over there. No, nothing is better than his love, than being a sheep in the pasture of the good shepherd. I have good chills. I feel like somebody needed to hear that. Verse six now, I lie awake thinking of you, meditating on you through the night, because you are my helper, I sing for joy in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your strong right hand holds me securely. Yes, instead of drifting away, let's cling to Jesus this week. We're going to move on to a few verses in Psalm 42 now. These are beautiful words, and they inspire to him, which I'll tell you about in a moment. Verse 1 now. As the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, the living God. When can I go and stand before him? Day and night, I have only tears for food, while my enemies continually taunt me, saying, where is this God of yours? My heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be, I walked among the crowds of worshipers leading a great procession to the house of God, singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of a great celebration. Verse five, hard turn here, and I love it. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my savior and my God. Do you hear the writer of Psalm 42 putting the stake in the ground? Did you hear how he turned from being so upset and concerned about his problems and his heartbreaks? And all of a sudden he's remembering 
the goodness of God and his faithfulness in the past. And he's like, wait a minute, hold up. I will put my hope in God. And you and I can do that today too. You know, there was a gentleman named Martin Nystrom who was fasting in 1984. He moved from Seattle to a Christian college in Texas. And that's where he met a friend who encouraged him to focus on the Lord by giving up food. I'm not sure if it was an intense fast, if it was just a meal. There are so many different ways to fast. But the point is, in the middle of that time where he was sacrificing a meal or several for the Lord, he sat down at a piano and these words came to him and the music came to him. And he wrote this beautiful hymn in a matter of minutes. I'm going to read you the words today. As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship thee. We'll wrap up our time together on verse two of this hymn now. You're my friend and you are my brother, even though you are a king. I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship thee. A man named Martin Nystrom was fasting and reading Psalm 42, sat down at the piano, and that hymn was poured into his heart, I believe, by a good and gracious God who knows how needy we are and also how loved we are. Nobody loves us like Jesus. Cling to him, my friend, and I will too. Don't drift away from his love, but remember if it happens because, hey, we're human. Remember, you just got to turn around. He's right there. He always will be. You are loved. Thank you for listening to the Bible for Busy People. I really enjoy our time together studying God's Word, and I'd love to get to know you. If you ever want to connect, feel free to email me at erica at purposely.com. We're a growing community, and you are welcome here wherever you are in your faith walk. Maybe you're ready to say yes to Jesus and to accept His love and forgiveness. You'll be starting the best journey of your life, or maybe you need someone to pray for you. Check out our show notes for more encouragement. Behind every good thing, there are amazing people who are using their time and talents to make it happen. Thank you to the dream team that makes this podcast possible. Debbie, Donna, and Rebecca, y'all are not only rock star colleagues, but dear friends. I love y'all. The Bible for Busy People is one branch on a tree called Purposely, a podcast network designed to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose, and you You are loved.